Hello and welcome to RPG Maker videos. This is another video that I'm willing to create in order to present one of my greater maps of this uh, game that I'm working on, the first one actually. Uh, this is this is a map that I've called uh, Shizuoka Province. Is one can see for the moment, it takes place in a Japanese surrounding. Uh, the point of this map, well, I won't be discussing this. Um, I'm only interested in creating a presentation of it visually. Um, this park here is part of the town. Um, it's, how can I say, uh, it's the only functional part of the map because I've worked on it physically for quite a, for quite a month. Um, this actually has been the first map that I've uh, mingled with. Um, it's a map where I've tested uh, the first two, actually, yes, both... Uh, wait, there's, there's a small problem. Yes, there is a small problem. Um, let's, uh, let's get out of this park because uh, there will be problems. And that dumb NPC won't allow us. Um, so basically this map is the first out of a set of three or four in which, uh, how to say, I've tested the two uh, plugins for detection, Yanfly's engine as well as Gulf, Gulf's, I think, uh, detection engine. The plugins work fine, however, there was a point with Yanfly's, I bet it's not from them, but it suddenly stopped working, like, out of a sudden. So the point is, uh, um, this map, and the other two that I will also present, one of them has been presented, is uh, the so-called Shizuoka province. Uh, that's part of testing. Um, so this map, I've been working on it for like one month and then somewhat abandoned. Well, not for, not for good. The map was given up for a bit because I wanted to create other maps as well while also gaining some uh, ideas on what to create on this one. So the point is this will present a fictional, this map presents a fictional part of uh, how to call it, oh yes, uh, Japan. Um, it actually represents a part, a part of Hamamatsu city from Japan and has three buildings that actually exist other than that everything else is just purely fictional i will be posting this map because i'm very curious to see what kind of uh, criticism i'll receive so the game will feature a visual novel style mostly especially this part these maps will be specifically visual novels and uh, also they will uh, these won't have any rpg I assets i think they'll probably have still there's still a few months of work before and what I'm planning to do is that I will strip this uh, map, these few maps from the game, create a separate one and launch it as a demo to see what players and other people say. Uh, this here is one of the six, for the moment there are six, uh, six uh, bus stations, Basu no Eki in Japanese, as I'm still uh, having fun with learning Japanese and improving my vocabulary. Uh, they will be functional, uh, meaning that the player can choose to go from here by bus to any other place. Only one of these stations is uh, functional. We shall see that as well. So basically, being a 256 times 256 map, uh, it will include a lot of places that are inaccessible, you know, made just for the fluff, like, uh, well, so many of the houses here. So what's the point? The point is that, story-wise, the character will... Uh, what can I say? Uh, the main protagonist will... And I'm saying for a reason, main protagonist. The main protagonist will suffer a defeat just because she chooses so. And the player will be met with a choice. There will be four cases that they can choose. And based on that, uh, the protagonist will reach a certain different world. Uh, four different aspects will be therefore uh, researched, uh, develop. Uh, well, actually, let's say uh, can be explored by the player. 
and it also and it all depends on that one choice so the player can make only one of the four choices and only once and this set of maps here will be only parts of one of the four choices now here I have created uh, an interesting well an amusing thing uh, since I didn't have the tile sets for uh, traffic lights you know with uh, on lights like red yellow and green I've created these things which are parallel events and based on this timer here which I'll have to make look more beautiful um, <coughs> um, they change colors each of the you know crossroads will be made this will be made like this well apparently only this part is uh, functional um, the map will also feature functional traffic now the point is that uh, these cars actually would move but for some reason three days after I've been working at that the plugin suddenly stopped working and I don't know why because I didn't add any others but it suddenly stopped working uh, so basically it's an event touch event here the cars here would come and there would be an event right here and when they touch they check whether it is uh, red or yellow and if it is so they will stop when it is uh, green they will start moving away so for example they should have start moving by now but for some reason they stopped working now this is a part of the town that well it's no use presenting um, I thought I fixed this part Hmm. wait a bit something's fishy around here in this corner of the map so uh, as a 256 map time 256 map it took me quite some three weeks to create and <laughs> I'm amused that I uh, still find a few that I still find a few things I missed and now looking back like this map has been done like a month and a half almost I don't know if two months ago and I can say I've learned quite a while quite some things from uh, RPG Maker and how to use it um, so the point is that well as I became better and better the point is that uh, well now that I look at this map I keep finding better and better ways of improving it so let's see now let's move across this map and see what it has to show I've never been a fan of uh, you know uh, paths and the such that you know are only one square wide so that's why I choose to create uh, um, roads that are uh, mar much larger now the point is I didn't know that in Japan I, as of what I've seen on Google Maps they uh, drive their cars the other way as in Europe most of Europe I think um, which I kind of goofed up but still being a fantasy it wouldn't matter the while I consider that this map is uh, complete there are still some minor portions that I'll add stuff to later now mainly the map has a few functional parts uh, other than that is just fluff, uh, fluff. Um, so the game here features a large hospital building which I actually wrote in kanji over it that's the kanji in from bio in which means hospital by the way um, I don't know if I'm gonna make something regarding this but regarding these tombstones there will be some most likely hidden event um, there's still a minor problem in here that they wouldn't allow me I'll have to check on that as well and the other kanji here is the kanji bio here this one which along with this one create bio in or hospital uh, they can also create bio ki which means disease uh, this kanji is also written as ya and is the kanji that you include in yandere for example for whom was curious um, and here I tried to design some uh, well very tall buildings in somewhat of a strange diagonal aspect uh, yes I know this road here looks a bit goofy and I'm thinking of removing the either this parts or this 
these lines. Um, this map will include some uh, small parks, which will generally have an accent on the stands, right there. Um, just like this other small park in here. There are basically, as the map is so large, it's basically... Mm, this one needs to be addressed as well. Uh, it's basically too much space, so therefore I also had to cover it with, uh, so with what I can call lots of green space and lots of parks. Mainly because buildings won't serve any purpose other than just staying there. Um, there will be NPCs in here as well that will move. Now the problem is that this map is nearing like 700 events already because it has numerous uh, running events and there are also events that, well, don't run for the moment. Uh, this is another one of the bus stations. I think it's bus station number 2. Um, I've been mingling with an idea that I thought it as original, however, I can't say how much originality there is within. Um, yes, there will be an event like this whenever you move from one street to another. Uh, I was also thinking about prohibiting player access to the streets, mainly to avoid you know, the idea of the player stopping the cars and ruining some, uh, um, you know, some timers. But I think I'll make the cars able to move through you because that's how they can actually preserve their timing. It's not that their timing would be of any importance anyways. Now, the g game that I'm making will make a fine collaboration with uh, Komipo because I'm also interested in creating some nice comics to add to my game. Now, the events that I was talking about are, uh, well, pop-up events like this one. Um, so the point is, regarding this block, there are numerous such events like here, and these things actually uh, pop up because, uh, well, they are invisible because they don't, they are unimportant, they are not important to you as a player as you, you know, move around and mainly you look forwards you don't look upwards so these only so these only spawn as you're uh, moving around so basically you can move around these and even around the block even though you can see these I've made the character to appear uh, you know shadowy but for some reason I forgot to put the event here uh, that will get fixed if I don't forget Uh, I haven't added any, how to say, uh, any soundtracks yet, because that will be a challenge. I've bought numerous packs, though, for this, but the point is that, well, you know, I will have to think more on the story. Now, regarding this block, there will be a special event here, which will theoretically uh, be a hidden one. And well, the event only goes this far, uh, you can break into one of your uh, university's, well, university colleagues' houses, and uh, well, it depends. It all depends on the player afterwards. So let's get this, let's get down. I've lowered the character's movement because, well, it was uh, most fitting. Now let's see. Um, yes, I've amused myself with creating this bus. Uh, now the, the map will have a uh, lower character speed, or I'll probably increase the speed of uh, these events, because it's kind of amusing to, you know, have a character whose speed is faster than vehicles, and it can be annoying to do this. Um, let's move further then. So, uh, since it is about Hamamatsu, these are other few houses that I came up with. Um, 
this place is unaccessible below because uh, it uh, theoretically symbolizes the path well it's a not a narrow path it's a steep side which is uh, the side by the river now let's have a closer a better look of uh, the map so theoretically we are somewhere around here this one is a steep area and this is the river now as I was designing the map I came up with the idea how about making a huge river go through the town itself uh, and then I came up with the idea how about creating well you know naming the town uh, in some way you know like how about it being uh, a real Japanese town uh, yes and this one here is uh, a nice event which well you know if you get close to it you can see the building better that is far taller but if you wanna go around here it vanishes and then it appears back but I need to work on the events and the positioning of the events now the point is this is another park these vending machines will be functional they will all be having events these will also be interactable and this one will be used for the players to save the game which is this one isn't functional there is one only and this is the third station that uh, works this is one the only one that works and it actually takes the protagonist to the so-called uh, Shizuoka University uh, as the bus moves there will be a few events with cars that move around you know and well uh, you know it will be there will be far more you know just to imitate traffic and the such uh, the bus's speed will be left like this uh, it, it, it won't be improved because I spent around an hour to make the animations because in this case I don't know how to make the camera specifically uh, follow the player like you know through these cases like your character gets stuck somewhere and the camera just follows this bus and then your character is teleported here I'll have to think of a better way and now we're here, Shizuoka Gijutsu Bunka Daigakue Yokoso. Welcome to Shizuoka University of Art and Culture. Now, the building itself here is a bit goofy, yes, I know. But, uh, to be honest, I've done my best to represent it, you know, like the way I've seen it in, uh, in Google Maps. The university here looks somewhat like this well considering that I can't replicate Japanese uh, architecture that much in uh, RPG Maker it looks kind of like this if you look at it from uh, real well Google Maps uh, this one is one of the buildings that's featured like real life building f buildings featured in the game uh, there will be maps for it there actually two of the maps are done there is a third one that I'm working on and here is again the little park we've been in considering this guardian won't catch me um, I have created a weapon system that will allow the player to play with weapons and they're also represented by uh, conditions so the point is, if you kill someone you get a condition like this one, which means your clothes are bloodstained. And this icon here, well prob most likely we it will be changed, this icon means that the character is armed but the arm is concealed. And it can be seen here, it is in the inventory. So if we equip it, it needs a refresh. Now the character is wielding the weapon and well it's wielding the weapon and this is kind of you know not likable you know wearing a weapon will draw some attention that's why I needed the detection uh, plugin there are some events here which I will not be playing with this one is a character whose purpose is to well keep telling me certain quotes depending on you know 
depending on my condition, whether I have a weapon equipped, because I stood quite a long time to find out uh, how to actually make uh, make this thing w make the things work like this. Now the only thing that I still have to work on is how to make the characters behave like normal once I uh, they're all running from me because my hand my well my clothes are blood stained. If also if you're wearing a if you're wearing the weapon outside they'll still run. Now the character depicted here is one of the five characters that the player can choose and only one of the five characters can be played. Uh, now let's move to the down part of the lower side of the town map wise. I've written here Shizuoka Ken. It's the name of the province. It's written in uh, it's written in shade and here it's I think Yokoso or something like that. Welcome to. Um, this is actually a road and there will be cars going through here. Though I'm thinking I'll be needing something to bypass the 999 event limit. This part here is a bit blank although I will at the right time add some stuff. It's the part over here. I was really disinterested in adding something. I added a small minute park in here. There's another bus station in here, small park with uh, w with some water. Some of the benches will be probably more most likely it will be well, they will be interactable. Wait, cannot move through there. And well, the map busts a lot of uh, details and after all it took me quite a long while to get through and oh fuck I'm stuck well, actually I'm not stuck actually but I don't know why I can't get through here hmm I'll have to look at that as well now let's see so um, let's try from this part let's see see how it works and why that wouldn't allow me to go through mostly because one of these open gates which is not an open gate actually oh I've made the with these well um, well in that case I have to change it a bit let's do some change and and change it like this now let's save the beautiful map and let's get back there will be a lot of uh, there will be a lot of uh, such areas there will be houses like this probably this one's gonna be the house of one of your colleagues So there are five different characters to be played and I'm working currently I'm working on creating the hundreds of events that will represent well you know being five possible characters to play only one playable at a time each event will have to be done in such a way that well how to call it um, well each of the five characters will have quotes and well what can I say these quotes uh, will vary based on the character that uh, is going to be played there are also conditions if you've killed people uh, then your character will look differently so uh, there will be quotes that are different each character has a different personality which I will portray as best as I can uh, this is a functional building oops I 
fucked up a bit. Uh, so let's see. Well, we're gonna resume there. I forgot that. Uh, let's start again. I my bad. I goofed up a bit. So we can enter this place and the building here is entirely made of events. All these events, all these are, well, except from this, these are simple tiles, but if we go upwards, everything here is events. They are events and based on the floor that you choose to go to, they will just Uh, this one here is an event where you can find uh, a coin. And well, the coin will be important for a certain event, which hasn't been done yet. There's also a second floor, and here in the laundry room there's a huge, almost seemingly unending event. Uh, we can choose to enter, and if we enter, everything here changes. So now let's leave the laundry room. And there's also the third floor, but there's been nothing done with it yet. This thing here has to be, you know, the, it will go, as I will be working more on this. First floor, and let's go to the ground floor and okay and we're out okay uh, here we had a construction site I think the player will be able to infiltrate this place and steal some kind of uh, weapon here is a kindergarten that is not accessible at least yet this one is actually an existing one and this is the edge of the map well, theoretical edge of the map. Here is the fifth bus station. Now, if we keep walking around and around, it will take far more than we should. This one looks as much as I could uh, like the one in reality. It's a kindergarten that in reality lies right below this, this university. This part of the map will be uh, kept for different, you know, secret areas or the such. Um, so basically the map has a lot of details that I thought of coming up with. Uh, it will feature day and night, uh, but not based on time. It will not have that much impact, time will not have that much impact. Or there will be a few events, I'm not interested in making a full scale event because I'm not uh, I'm not into paying so much time to details like the such after all this is only a small part of the game although it will have the largest of the maps possible and I swear I won't be creating any other maps again um, there will be a lot of this would be what I'd call a game land with a place where there should have been some, uh, how to call it, um, mini games. And I wanted to create a mini game regarding a chess game, but I don't know how to program it, how to do it in RPG Maker, so uh, I'll just leave it. And uh, again, there are all sorts of buildings. This is somewhat of an outskirts area, more or less, another huge park, a small maze-like garden, a few more houses, whoa, wait, an inn, but I think we've been around that, a lot of streets, there will be more traffic lights here and they will all have the functional part, I've actually found some traffic lights that, uh, you know, have uh, colors. And as I said, the game features, this map will feature two bridges. 
two bridges with glowing lights which will keep turning on and off because why not though just to win some event slots I think I can spare myself the I can delete these events more or less and there are other you know there are other houses more houses even more houses and what you'd expect from from the town a few tall buildings and the hospital with the bio in pretty annoying to create these things just from shadows then after you create them make sure you don't change anything uh, any tile around them because they will vanish so basically that's kind of about it a somewhat lengthy presentation of this map uh, this will be a map it's the initial map uh, from where the player will be able to go to school and from the university they will be able to turn back uh, what can I say? I'm waiting for criticism and as usual I'm waiting for any constructive feedback so have a nice day and keep up the good work